Hi, I'm Zachary Bloomgarden, clinical professor in the Department of Medicine at Mount Sinai School of Medicine. So the, the bottom line for me is that the class of drugs, thiazolidine diones, both Avandia and Actos, carry some heavy baggage that makes physicians now increasingly worried about their use. In that setting, we have to ask two questions. Number one, was the meta-analysis that was released a year ago in the New England Journal uh, done correctly? And the answer is unequivocally no. So that the supposedly significant findings of adverse effect of Avandia almost certainly were not statistically significant. However, there was certainly no evidence of cardiovascular benefit. And that leads to the second question, is Avandia not as good as Actos? And there may be some subtle benefits of Actos over Avandia, but at this time, I think that for many patients, thiazolidine diones remain good blood, blood sugar controlling drugs and that both Avandia and Actos continue to have places in treatment. And I do have patients that I give Avandia to, and I have patients that I give Actos to, and I'm satisfied with the drugs, recognizing that they're complicated and the treatment has to be monitored. I'm doing essentially no new prescriptions of Avandia, and I'm doing relatively few new prescriptions of Actos, and that's related to this whole reassessment of whether these are important and useful drugs. Okay, so Bieta I use, or let's put it more accurately, I don't personally use it, but I certainly prescribe it for patients, and I have more than 100 patients uh, treated with Bieta. It's a very good drug that increases the body's production of insulin by mimicking a normal peptide, GLP-1. Um, it absolutely is associated with weight loss, uh, not in every single person, but in a substantial number of people taking it, and that's a wonderful additional benefit, uh, one that patients, of course, greatly appreciate. And the problem is that it has to be administered by twice daily injections, which is why there's a lot of interest in once daily products, and there are such uh, products on, coming to the market, and once weekly products, and there's a long-acting version of Bietta, which is going to be submitted for approval, and we don't yet know all the details about it. Um, so this is a very important area for treatment in people with type 2 diabetes. And we think it's going to be just the beginning of a larger group of similar uh, gut peptides that can be used for appetite control as well as blood sugar control.